Hello and welcome to Veggie Patch Ideas. We are now deep into November. Let's take a look around the plot and see what we're harvesting at this time of year. Let's go. So first of all, we'll start with the lettuce hanging baskets. And as you can see, these have come on brilliantly. And I'll link the video on how to do these. And now is a great time to do them as well. So there we go. These are ready for harvesting now. So what we'll do, we'll get a few more on the go and it will give us that succession we're after. So hanging baskets for the win. Now here's something that's going to surprise you. Yes, the pear tree has started fruiting again. It's got loads of little pears coming on it and a flush of second fruits. I've never seen this in the middle of November before. It's a new one on me. And then we have our beautiful variety bed. And in here we've got a garlic at the front which has just gone in and it's come up and it's waiting for that cold weather because we all know garlic needs a very cold spell to make that bulb expand. We've got our carrots here and well that's no good let's have a look at another. Here we go our little stubby carrots these are ready for harvest as well. So We'll get a harvest out of these and let's go down the bed a little bit more and see what else is going on. And of course it's our leeks and these are ready to come out and enjoy. So let's take one out. There you go, leeks will be on the table tonight. Now another great thing to go through the winter is curly kale and this, I've been harvesting it and it keeps coming back. You don't need a lot, you cook it like a cabbage, just a few leaves, you break it off, you cook it down and this makes beautiful on your Sunday dinners. So we've got curly kale and we've also got black Nero kale. Now this is bulletproof through the winter. The thing to look after your kales is as they die back get rid of all the bottom leaves. There's too many and again with the weird weather we're having the kale is it's sprouting again from the bottom and this is absolutely new on me. Let's take a look. So if we can take a quick look into the bottom of this one and you see all these new fresh growth. This has never happened before. It generally looks like that bare stems as you take them off. As we get old and dying, like this one here, we'll take that stem off. But this curly kale has regrown all over the stem and these are fresh leaves. Let's take one off. So the strange weather we're having is doing very strange things to the plant and it's giving us that little bit extra harvest. Now as we jump into the most unloved area of the plot, this is my rosemary. You plant it once and you literally harvest it forever. It smells amazing and you just pick it as you want it. It's fantastic. Now down on the ground in the polytunnel we have all of this lovely rocket. There's far too much rocket and I've been harvesting this like crazy. It just keeps coming back. This has probably got two or three weeks left in it and then it, it will need to come out and then we'll plant either lettuce or curly kale into this part of the polytunnel. 
Now on the other side of the polytunnel we have our chard and this is growing on lovely, nice and slowly, so it's not bolting. And this is where I want it to be. It's not ready for harvest yet, but this will come on through as the season progresses. Moving on down to our curly kales and more chard. And then at the very end, some spinach has just gone in. And moving on to the other side of a polytunnel, the kala kimchi is coming out really well. It's where I want it to be. It hasn't bolted and it'll just grow up slowly through the winter. Our curly kale, it's not been attacked. So this again will do well and it will slowly continue to grow over the slow months, which is the end of November into December. It should just tick along nicely. And <coughs> our spring onions, they're looking fine. Again, it's going to be a slow growth on the spring onions. And for all those that have issues germinating, tomatoes well where the tomatoes have dropped to the ground and i haven't dug it over they've all germinated and it's quite a funny thing to see in november so let's take a closer look and i thought i would leave these just to show you germination of fresh tomatoes and these are basically the seeds or the tomatoes that have fell off the plants and have just been left on the ground so what I'll need to do is hoe this over and just make room for the new plants coming through. And as you can see, we've got loads more curly kales cooking away nice and slowly. These will go in the ground outside to replace what's there. But it's all looking how I want it, even though it's not been sunny at all, uh, but it's been mild. It's just been dull and wet, but that's the southwest. So as you can see, we're still harvesting from the plot. And if you're bored or thinking of things to do on your plot, then tidy the edges, keep it weed free and put some extra manure on your beds and it'll just see it through that winter. If you look after it now, it'll be very, very low maintenance when you come into the new season. And yes, we've still got our rhubarb going strong. Our strawberry beds are in and we're sorting the dahlias we're cutting them back, but there's a video on there somewhere for you for that one. The grass has been cut for the final time this season. Hopefully, unless we have a very, very warm one, we're all ready to go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing for more of the same and more tips on growing our way through the season, no matter what.